Good morning, everybody. This is uh, Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel, and hope everybody's well out there this morning. Um, and let's get into it. Today, I thought I would take a look at uh, some of the social media links, uh, things that I'm doing up on the web, and um, that help promote uh, technology uh, education. And so we'll take a look at that right after this. Okay, I'm back, and um, let's uh, let's take a look at what I've got on the web. A um, little background information first. Uh, I have a, a master's degree in IT. I also have a, a PhD less dissertation uh, in IT education. I've been an instructor at local colleges for about five years, and then I retired. And so I'm retired right now, and uh, but I have a lot of knowledge in the IT arena and specifically in Linux and Unix uh, and you know I want to give some of that back to the, to the people uh, and so that's what I do on my channels here and uh, it promotes education I don't do it for money and I, I don't monetize my sites I don't plan on doing that uh, even though I'm getting close to a thousand mark here at uh, YouTube I'm really not going to uh, plan to monetize my sites but let's get out on the web and I'll show you what I've done here. I've got a YouTube channel here. I've got about 852 subscribers right now. And it is called the Linux Unix Tech Channel at YouTube. Um, Data Pioneer is the name here I have on it. That's me. And um, I would appreciate, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'll put links to all the sites that I talk about this morning. Uh, down below the video so that you have those but I would appreciate it if you would take a look at what I have available uh, on the site here as I said I've probably got well over 220 240 250 maybe even I haven't counted them um, videos that I've done on various uh, distros uh, reviewing those distros show you installing those products that you can install on those uh, distros of Linux uh, comparing various distros of Linux, comparing various products, uh, even WireGuard, which is the now the uh, Primo uh, VPN that's installed in the kernel for Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. I use it. I've got it on all my devices, and it's great. Uh, even have it on my iOS uh, mobile devices for Apple. Okay, so my last video I did was on the power of Tmux, and uh, if you haven't looked at that video, go ahead and look at that. Uh, that was about five days ago. It's about almost a week ago, but it says five days ago here on the site. But this is my YouTube channel, and uh, like I said, I started this so uh, several years ago. Uh, I, I don't know how far back it goes. I haven't really looked. But uh, what I do on this side is I, I push out information to folks uh, that I think is relevant to uh, people who want to learn about Linux Perhaps they're uh, stuck in Windows world and they want to get over to Linux and learn what Linux is. And so you can do that very easily here on my site and uh, take a look at that. So that's the Linux Unix tech channel here on YouTube. Okay. Another site that I have that I've uh, started, uh, this was a couple of years ago as well. It's kind of built up now. I think I have uh, roughly 63 members. Yeah, 63 members right now. Uh, and it's called the Linux Unix Tech Channel on Facebook. And you do have to uh, request to join that. Uh, you can't just come up and join. So if you put in uh, you know, a request to join my Linux Unix Tech Channel, I will put a link to this as well down below the, the video. Uh, you, know, you have a couple of questions to answer. And when you answer those questions, uh, I'll be glad to. I'm the moderator. I have another moderator as well. I'll uh, be glad to uh, invite you in and let you take a look at what we have available. I have several articles that I've, uh, I've done here, um, links to various information that I have on the Facebook page. And it, the Facebook page links out to other Facebook pages that uh, are available out there uh, in the world of Linux and Unix. And so 
please take a look at this. Um, um, you know, I, it, I offer it free to you. Uh, you can interact with me and others. Like I said, I have 63 members. I've got more, you know, what about probably about one member a day coming on now uh, to the channel. So it's becoming popular. It takes a while to build up a channel here, as you know, if you if you're a YouTuber, but uh, or Linux Facebook person. So or a Facebook person. Period. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be Linux, but that's what I do. I do have a link out to the Western North Carolina Linux Users Group channel as well. I do admin that particular site. Um, I don't own this one, but it's owned by the Western North Carolina Linux Users Group in Asheville, North Carolina. This is where my hometown is. Um, there are several members in that group as well. Uh, I haven't counted those. Let me see if I have a number uh, that I can point to. I don't see. Yeah, I have 80 looks like 80 members here uh, of that particular channel and so it's growing as well. I do share a lot of information that I have on my Linux Unix tech channel and cross populate those two. Uh, but there's a lot of information here, information about Linux specifically because this is a Linux users group. So I invite you to take a look at that as well. You will need to request uh, to become a member of that group as well because it is a public but it is a public group, so you know you don't. It used to be a private group, I believe, but now it's public, so it's open to the public. Um, and I don't know if we have it set up that you have to request uh, to be a member of that. I thought we did. But if you encounter it and you do have to request, go ahead and just uh, request membership, and we'll invite you in. It's not a, not a big deal. If you're in the local area in Asheville, North Carolina, and you want to come to one of our meetings, uh, we'll... Uh, have you be glad to have you come to that meeting there are presentations that are given at uh, various meetings and so you will gain some information that perhaps you don't have in Linux and uh, and it might be good for you uh, to, to meet other people and uh, what we do primarily is we sit around if somebody has a problem in Linux uh, they let us know what it is and we try to help them with it uh, but we do try to have somebody who uh, wants to give a presentation to get up and give a presentation and then uh, it may even be recorded and shared with others and so uh, check it out Western North Carolina Linux users group also check out the Linux Unix tech channel here on Facebook as well and the final thing I want to show you today this will be a short video um, I have uh, started hosting my own website I have a WordPress blog uh, that I host on my Raspberry Pi uh, 3B plus model uh, with one gig of RAM so it doesn't take a lot to do this but what I've done is uh, the Raspberry Pi model 3B plus uh, runs off of Raspbian OS which is now called Raspberry operating system or Raspberry OS uh, it is a derivation of uh, Debian Linux uh, version 9 and uh, what I have done is I've installed a LAMP stack uh, on top of that LAMP stack, if you're not familiar with that, is Linux uh, as the base operating system. Apache, or Apache 2 in this case now nowadays, is the web server. M is the MySQL, but is now MariaDB uh, database server that uh, runs in conjunction with that. And then finally, PHP, which is a PHP uh, hypertext preprocessor, uh, single uh, or, or server-side uh, programming language, server that runs and connects with all those other pieces and basically makes it a non-static site interactive uh, with uh, the customer and so what I've done is I've also installed WordPress on that and, and then connected the pieces set up the database and PHP my admin and uh, and so the the database uh, called WordPress uh, runs the site and uh, takes care of uh, the commenting the articles, uh, everything that you see here is run through the database and it's run on that LAMP stack in WordPress. And so my uh, website is called datapioneer-network.org. It is a secure site, so it's HTTPS, uh, either www or non-www, uh, datapioneer-network.org. And here it is. It's called the DP Network, where technology education begins. Uh, so just take a look at the site here. This is uh, the front page or the home page, and I have a scrolling 
uh, list of uh, featured articles that are scrolling across the screen here. Uh, these I call the trending now. I have some featured category articles on the side here, and so these are articles connected to Linux. I just did a series on Tmux, so if you're interested in the uh, terminal multiplexer, I have a four-part series that I did, so you can take a look at that here. Be make sure you start with part one and go through part four. Then at the footer here, I've got the login registration, so if you do want to join, register on my site, please do. Click on that, and it'll walk you through the process. This is a secure site, so any information that you provide me will be secure. It uh, won't be shared. Uh, I do not uh, sell your information to third parties. So I don't do that. And I don't do that because I tell you here in the privacy policy, if you come up, click on privacy policy, it tells you exactly who we are, what personal data we collect on you, and that's mainly for interaction. Uh, media and contact, the cookies, we do collect cookies, but they're only first party cookies, not second and third party. As I said, I don't advertise on the site. Uh, with anybody else. Uh, I don't promote anybody else's products here. This is all me. Uh, this is my content uh, that talks about things I do in Linux and uh, I share with others for free. I don't charge anything for this. And so, But anyway, that's the privacy information. Here's a little bit about, about me here. So if you click on the About, it tells a little bit about my educational background, my work background, uh, an IT pro, and some other things that I've done. Here's the Contact Us information page. If you go up and click on that, you can put in your information here. If you have uh, information you want to know more about the site, specifically before you join, uh, there's a way to do it. Just fill in your information, your email, and your subject, and your, your message, and then click the Send button, and I'll get that. I'll read it, and I will respond. Now, if you visit my site and you see a problem with uh, broken links or anything, well, you shouldn't, but if you do, Here's the email address to email, webmaster at datapioneer-network.org. If you have any general inquiries and you don't want to use this form, you can come down here and click on the data pioneer at datapioneer-network.org and uh, send me an email. I'll be glad to look at that and respond to it. Okay, I have another link out here to web links on the web. This is a collection of links that are my favorites, things that I have uh, looked at in the past that I think will be helpful to other people. Uh, for instance here, there's a link out here to DB Text blog. I have a link out here to the file system hierarchy standard for Linux, uh, for the Electronic Frontier Foundation, for the Free Software Foundation here, the Gateway Spaceport Foundation, a link out to How to Geek. Um, I've got a link here to other things, uh, Portainer and uh, Pine Grow Cubes. Uh, time management philosophy and the Tmux cheat sheet, etc., etc. So I got a lot of information out here on web links. Take a look at that if you would, at your leisure. Um, I'll put a link to this uh, website out underneath the video as well. And then finally, the the meat of this website for my DP network is the blogs link. So if you click on blog, that'll take you out to my articles. This is the featured article right now, which is getting started with the Linux command line interface. And if you click on that, it takes you to the article itself. And um, you can read all about the command line interface in Linux from the early days to the modern day uh, terminals. And gives you some examples of some of those modern day terminals. I won't get into a lot of detail here. You can take a look at that yourself. And off to the side on the sidebar, you've got the tag, tag cloud. You've got the uh, article archives by month. So you can go back as far as May. That's when I started this website. And it pulls up the articles that are that were created in the month of May, uh, so you don't have to look at all of them if you don't want to. If you want to go back to the ones, the early ones, or if you want to go only to the late ones, it goes from May to August so far. And I hope to continue this uh, very soon. Here are some coming soon issues that I'm going to be addressing on the website, so you want, might want to follow that. Uh, Ventoy Linux on a Stick, um, ASCII Doc the Universal Markup Language. And then I'm going to take a look at the Atom code editor. If you haven't used Atom, it's a wonderful uh, open source uh, code editor. I'm a Python programmer, also a PHP programmer, so I use Atom a lot uh, in my programming. Then I've got some recent articles down here as well. All right. And so this has been a, a kind of a quick look. Uh, I forgot to give show you the Linux cheat sheets. I do have a Linux cheat sheet. So if you're into Linux and um, 
you have commands that you may have heard of, but you're not uh, you know, totally familiar with them, here is the place to go look at those commands and what they do. Um, it's basically information I gleaned from GitHub and uh, man pages. Okay, so yeah, this has been a quick look at uh, some of the social media contacts that I have. I wanted to bring that to you because you may not be aware of it. I would appreciate you to uh, register for my uh, DP network here on my blog so that you get can follow me and learn all about Linux. If you're interested in Linux, you want to come from the Win Windows world and into Linux, which is a much better environment as far as I'm concerned. Uh, everything's free and uh, open source in Linux, and it's always been that way. Uh, I love it, and uh, that's not the only reason I love Linux. I love Linux because it, I think it's... It follows the Unix philosophy of, of everything in Linux uh, is done on a modular level, and uh, each module does everything, only one thing, and it does each of those well. And that's, uh, that's the Unix philosophy, and Linux carries that forward. So we've got the DP Network website. We've got the Linux Unix Tech Channel Facebook page, and then finally the Data Pioneer uh, Linux Unix channel as well. Check it out guys and uh, hope this has been helpful. If you haven't subscribed to me on the uh, YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe to me. Hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, click the like button. Tell all your friends about me and we'll see you the next time. This has been Data Pioneer with the Linux Unix Tech Channel. Have a good day. Take